What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. This is not very good ice cream. The problem is, is that it's called Changes Brew and it's all about diversity, right? Um, which is cool and, and cool, right? Uh, but the thing is, is it's just not good ice cream. And so, you know, if you say this, uh, you know, who knows, who knows? Maybe you're just a crazy person or maybe you don't like the ice cream. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I've eaten like half of this. Uh, I ate it half of it on like Saturday and uh, meeting the other half today. It's just not that great. You know, if, if you're gonna have uh, like an ice cream about diversity or whatever, um, you could have had it taste good. Um, it's cold brew coffee ice cream with marshmallow swirls and fudge brownies. And the little fudge pieces, as you can tell, are just very tiny and they aren't that good. They're like chocolate chip pieces, except they're just kind of soft. Like, it's like they put bread in there. Um, uh, bear back for a sec. Okay, I'm back, my mom called me. So the fudge pieces are just kind of like weird, like chocolate pieces of bread. Uh, and the marshmallow rolls are just non-existent. Uh, you know, you you, uh, you kind of just keep digging down and uh, eventually you see a little line of marshmallow and you think, oh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be a big chunk of marshmallow. You know, the marshmallow bits on a, something like fish food. Um, and I think Americone Dream may have marshmallow swirls. Um, and you think you're gonna grab to it. And then all of a sudden it's just no marshmallow. And then it was just like a little fake piece of marshmallow. And it was like, oh man. Um, and cold brew flavor isn't that good. Uh, you know, cold brew coffee ice cream tastes a lot like coffee ice cream, except bad. Uh, cold brew coffee ice cream is just worse, it seems like. So, uh, wouldn't recommend this. I, 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 it's not very good. Um, for breakfast, I had leftover lasagna, which is what I had for dinner last night. Uh, for lunch, I had a sandwich. And for dinner, we had stew, which was really good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh my god, I was gonna talk about something. Okay, here it is. Here's something crazy. Um, so, as you may know, I got these shoes yesterday. You may wonder why they're upside down, I'll explain it in a second. Um, the reason why, um, no, here's the thing. I was walking around school today. I got off the bus, my shoes started squeaking. I, on my right shoe, whoop, it goes whoop, like, whoop, 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 right? And here's the crazy thing. My dad's old Nike running shoes also used to do this. And so, um, we think it's, notice how there's like the white sole and then there's that gray rubber right under the white sole. Um, we think it's that. We think there's like a little bit of air or something and it's squeaking up against it. And I don't know, you would expect Nike shoes, famously very, rather high quality brand, um, uh, you'd expect them to have some quality control, but I don't know. Two out of the two Nike shoes we have where the soles have a little bits of rubber on them like that. Well, rather big piece of rubber. It's always squeaked. Um, so I looked it up like five different websites and like five different YouTube videos said, now this sounds crazy. I still don't believe this, although I can't imagine what the downside would be. They said, put your phone, uh, put your shoe upside down, spray WD-40 onto the shoe and then just leave it sitting for a few days. Um, and I'm doing that, who knows? Um, my room kind of smells like WD-40 and I probably shouldn't be inhaling these fumes, but what can you do, right? Uh, I don't want shoes this week. I don't want, them. okay. Um, Okay. All right. See you, dude.